Welcome back to Trauma Center, New Blood, Doctor. Doctor, are you ready to delve into Marcus's past? Uh, why? Why, why can't I just help this little girl who's got her appendix that needs taken out? No. What? It's time for a new stigma. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't, we don't need to do. No, that's, that's okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm just fine doing, uh, fun hospital stuff. Are hospital you stuff. You, you, I don't want. I don't want to do with the anime robots right now. Come on! Anime robots, no! here we no! come! I don't want to do the- Oh, come on. Hopefully it's done better here. I'm sure it is. Even though I actually did enjoy Second Opinion. <laughs> it was schmaltzy. I like schmaltzy. So, you're finally going to tell us, huh, Professor? I led you all to believe that I was suffering from a chronic heart disease. To douchebag uh, conference. But my preparations are complete. <laughs> no, I can outdouche you. No, I can outdouche you. I'm sure I can outdouche you. Is on the team too? I can outdouche you both. Now shut up. Yeah, but he won't be operating. <laughs> Hang on, Th three-time reigning champion coming through. <laughs> what I am asking you all to do. <laughs> he actually would look good in like a WWE build. <laughs> Yes. All right, listen I'm here. You, you got a six-six and a third chance of percent of beating me, but you take in my third-third percent chance. You got a twenty-four point six percent chance. You take that by three times. Square root that. Oh my God, he's smart and gorgeous. You ever heard that? That's that uh, Scott Steiner math. Uh, <laughs> no, I haven't. It's basically Scott Steiner, you know, uh, doing that promo where you know someone's holding a microphone. He's just gonna say over to you. It's like, all right, I got like a thirty-three percent chance to beat you, and you take your sixty percent chance. You got twenty-five percent chance, but that that is increased by my twenty-five percent chance. So you got a one and thirty-three hundred percent chance to beat me at Scott's summer bid this summer. That's math. It's, it's, uh, I don't know if it's Coke or just, uh, great WCW cheese at the time, but it's, uh, certainly meme-worthy now. Well, that's how you get the people hyped up. Of course, yeah. Because like, you see everybody in the crowd going, 33%! 33%! Oh, do yeah, WWE did that all the time. I mean, they, they made a catchphrase out of what? <laughs> that was my favorite, I think. What? Yeah. It was a Stone Cold Steve Austin. He came back as, like, you know, like a, like a sarcastic kind of guy. He's like, what? What's that? I think it was just because he was going deaf. I had, I actually had a what stone cold nice. shirt. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Was <laughs> and so, for even years after he retired from the WWE, sometimes when you have a heel going on some some tirade or whatever, you can still hear some of the crowd going what, and you're gonna, and you can tell him that what. And when I see him at SummerSlam, what? He's going down. What? <laughs> Makes it sound like they don't know where they are. <laughs> Just, what? <laughs> I can't hear you over the crowd! Anyway, I totally want wrestling and uh, trauma center to cross. At oh, hell some yeah. Point. I can see Marcus Vaughn going against Derek Styles. Yeah, you listen me? here, you little guilt. I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna take your little legs and cut them apart with my scalpel and burn your bones with my laser. And see, this is why we have a tag team this time. It's like, Valerie, take care of my light work. She's like, you're going down, Treaty. <laughs> There's a clothesline on a fucking tumor. <laughs> oh my god, there she goes. She's going for the stunner. Oh my god, so cold. He's quite strong. So cool! So cool! Got Michael Cole going, oh wow, we got, uh, we have Marcus Vaughn going in for the DDT against the Guild Virus! <laughs> and Jerry Lola going, ah! <laughs> what? That's why you I can't believe it! Oh my god! Yes. Yeah, that's why we selected you to become grand champions. No or vaccine is available yet. I'm sorry. What are you guys talking about? Oh no, I, I kind of like your angle. I want to see these guys get in the ring. <laughs> Dr. Vaughn. I got a triple bypass that's gonna be take you all the way. Oh, and there he goes. He's setting up. It's the triple bypass. <laughs> I actually held my Wiimote up to my mouth like a microphone. I'm there. She's flatlining. One. Two. <laughs> Up, oh, only two! Only two! She's, she's still in! She's still, still in! in. We'll yeah, that's what happens to everybody who loses. They just fucking die. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean... I mean, well, I mean, yeah, that makes that makes sense. Oh, wait! My patient's coming back! It's the Undertaker! It's like you're you're working on a, on a you know some uh, some tumor on on some guy's liver, and then you hear some some music. You know, 
And the guy starts running to the OR, tackles you, takes your scalpel, and starts resuming the- Oh! He's taking on the tumor! He's taking the tumor himself! I can't believe this! Is he gonna let this happen? Just accept that it's and then a guy has like like 12 different infections inside his body at the same time and you just hear so the big show well <laughs> well it's a big you know, big big doctor just comes in <laughs> <laughs> he's about to get hit with the grand slam <laughs> angie and derek have steel chairs and they just you know <laughs> oh! I can see Angie with a steel chair. <laughs> totally! Ma mainly her, not Derek Stiles. Is a failure. Well, one's the front, one's the back, you know. That's true, that's true. Then I or may they go in for the combined attack, research, like one chair research, in front, one chair in back. Sweet chair music is what that's called. Dude. No, no, wait, sorry, the, the concerto. What? Oh, was, the concerto? I was thinking I was thinking of Brett Michaels' sweet chin music, where he oh, does a, okay. a beautiful kick right into some dude's chin. Just, oh, that's awesome. This is to be my research. Holy shit, I'm actually alone. visualizing it. Hey, guys at Atlas! Successful. Persona got a fighting game. Where the hell is Trauma Center? I've, I've got a, I've got a way to revolutionize modern science like no other. After all, Get me Vince McMahon on the phone. Wish three years ago that it all this is how modern medicine has evolved. We're gonna we kick the shit out of the diseases. We're gonna combine the XFL with modern medicine. Okay. I bid you good luck. It's like House meets WWE. Okay, new disease Holy stigma shit. is present and must be eliminated since it's highly mobile. Ooh. Speed and precision are essential. Okay. By the way, we uh. All right, you listen to your stigma. I'm gonna. All right. Anyway. We were uh, updated that uh, both Marcus and Valerie's healing touch are different. Marcus has the good old-fashioned healing touch, where everything kind of slows down, or he goes super fast, I guess. And Valerie's is a vitals pause. She can actually stop it wherever it is. Basically freeze, freezing them in stasis. So cool. We have two, two different types of healing touch, just in case this goes uh, sideways. So only one sideways it's gonna go, and that's through a table! Likely that medication will be Elena getting tossed exactly through a table. <laughs> oh, I should mention, this is also a steel cage match. What? <laughs> Metal bars just start rising and covered in barbed wire oh at the top. Oh my laser. god. What the? Ooh, a laser. And he's got the laser! He's got the laser! Oh, slobber knocker! <laughs> what? what? That's what, that's what JR says. Oh, okay, okay. It used to be big in wrestling in the Attitude Era. It was, it was the best. The then when Rock turned heel, I turned away from the WWE. Well, now he turned, like... Celebrity. Well, that's why he turned heel. He basically uh, oh, okay. he used to be the biggest star in the WWE, and then he went to go make movies, and he basically did a heel turn at the end. It's like you know, going back on all of his phrases. You know, when he when he used to go, you know, who in the blue hell are you? Yeah, during his last things, he 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 uh, he goes, who in the green hell are you? Like you know, I don't care about these people. Yeah, like this new opening about yeah, having the high city life and all that. It's high city life, huh? <laughs> and and people still loved him anyway. It didn't yeah, work. Yeah, right. He's he's got the charisma to to have it to, to live Chris on. He's a great actor. Everyone loved him. Yeah, he is. It didn't matter. By the way, go watch Black Adam. It was a great film. Uh, no. It was very funny. It was it the best DC movie? Oh, absolutely not. Watch fucking the Jumanji movies instead. Jumanji. 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 What? Here. Can I? Am I just a useless doctor in this one? Do you stay there? Oh no! Oh no! Cyber death! Oh no! We need to suture the wounds immediately. All right, suture. suture. Uh, uh, hello. Well, hello. Are you? Are you? Are you I, I wish to doctor. I wish to doc. Oh, there we go. There we go. My, my uh, nunchuck wasn't fully. What the fuck is this? That looks like a karaoke almost. I don't Let's like do it. It's moving right, extra fast. Oops. <laughs> 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 oh. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> oops. Yeah, how about I be on hold duty, just in case we poke holes in his, in his lungs or something like that. <laughs> oh, your, la out. your laser died. Oh, okay, suture that shit up. Like that. There, I got him, I got him. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, all right. Stigma's gone! Except he's got a bunch of burns on there. Good job, Doctor. Wait, hold on. Oh, Not done oh. yet. I knew, like, I knew it wouldn't be just one, all right. Ooh, two at the same time? I wonder if this is just, just a co-op thing, or if this was always in the initial, uh, the initial part of the game. I'm not on the puzzle. Just, just, uh. Uh, yeah, I got it. Give me some time to get the laser back, too. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. 
There we go. All right. And <laughs> easy every time. No! Ah! Oh, okay, never mind. Never new, mind. New, new, there we go. New, we get, new, I got vitals new. up. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Ew. Oh, that's, 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 that's wild. That's wild. That's different. That's certainly different. God, it looks like a, a flint, flint piece is just stuck in his heart. You, you, you got one of those, uh... Paleoantologist uh, <laughs> knives there. Yeah, you got you got a, a knife of flint from 880 BC or something. Bro, let me double down for you. You got a jagged rock in your heart. <laughs> Deal with it. I knew this day would come. Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa! He made the Walmart logo in his lung. Easy there, yeah, buddy. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, come on now. Here, I'll get the vitals up while you patch them up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, you patch him up, huh? There we go. All right. Congratulations, you did it. You want a sucker and a lolly for the road? A little kiss on the boo boo. Mwah. It was my responsibility. <laughs> so we need to talk about your bedside manner. What? Well, not enough? No, way too much. <laughs> no, nothing. I should just be. Thinking. Marcus, I told you not to make out with every single patient that you heal. Yeah, we sutured up his lungs quite a lot. We're gonna have to get back in there and remove them. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have to, you know, suture up that, and then he's gonna have to come back and get the... You're gonna owe us a lot of money for a lot of time. <gasps> oh yeah! my god! I think they were depending on us using the uh, the healing touch to panic when they did that that logo, but... Who needs please, healing touch? Please, come on. The operation. At this rate, it seems we'll make a full you know... Recovery. If there was actually a doctor as, you know, as crazy as Marcus here, you know, he's just jabbing sutures all the way through there. Uh, he could probably pose as a doctor version of the dentist from Little Shop. I can't believe that <laughs> to be a doctor! Be a doctor! <laughs> you just love rifling through people's guts! Oh, ah, Gika! I must say, this stigma is certainly an intrigue. Don't say that with that face. I don't like that you have a raised eyebrow at stigma. Going back to WWE, he kind of looks like William Regal. <laughs> he was basically the pompous Brit who is up in the WWE upper management, oh. you know, you know <laughs> popular heel. I remember there there was a there was a, there was a highlight Jesus. in the Attitude Era where uh, he was getting some some tea, and then Chris Jericho, that oh, naughty, that, that naughty, heel. that naughty Canadian rock star fucking guy everybody loves. Chris Jericho is awesome. He's great. Oh, he's he. Uh, he peed in his teapot, <laughs> and then he comes back. He's like, "Oh, oh, thank you. I just got some tea." And then he take he takes a sip, and then <laughs> that that was uh, that's 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 what sticks with you. Have you ever seen uh, the Hot Ones interview with Chris Jericho? No, I haven't. Oh, he's he's fantastic. He's, he's got this band, Fozzy. They, they, they used to be like kind of crap when they first started, but now they're actually like, you know, "Oh, wow, this is Fozzy." Shit. I think the that's thing awesome. that sold me was the opening you stinger. On, he just goes, oh, that sucks. Just <laughs> spits in a trash can. He's like, yeah, I spit. Deal with it. <laughs> that's it. That's how it starts. Congratulations on the success of your operation. Excellent. Thank you. We did it. We saved your attitude era. That stigma is quite a remarkable disease. And here comes Valerie with a steel chair! Oh! oh! He just got out of surgery! Can't believe she would pull that! Gotta prep, gotta prep for surgery. It amazes the following operation is scheduled for one fall. One fall? What? What? <laughs> Coming in at the left, it's uh, Marcus Vaughn! No, no wait, what's going on? Stop. You know that guy that uh, pilfered our credit? He would totally cheat in the Money in the Bank match. He, yeah. Almost guaranteed. Yes, that's true. But See, look, that would be the face he would make. He's just like, ooh, Money in the Bank. I thought, perhaps, my orders are absolute. Woo. Spoken truly like a man with a monocle. Or are you scheming to steal my research? D don't be silly, Professor. Don't be I'm silly. I'm loyal to... I want everything in this room. That includes any recordings and extracted organisms. Extracted organisms? I won't have them where I go! Oh, the baby's oh. coming! Oh. oh! Please, you must stay calm. Oh, I thought he just got, like, Duck reinfected with something. <laughs> Whatever you have to discuss oh, with no! Professor Wilkins, wait until later. Yes, well then, uh, please excuse me, Professor. Get rid of the recordings, but I already posted it on TikTok. A Tic Tac? Please. I'd like to be alone for a while. Hand me that Maxim. Don't Maxi. worry. 
Please. I won't overexert Did I ever tell myself. you when my mom accidentally signed me up for a Maxim totally subscription? Oh, oh no. She got a promo for Thank like you. 15 different magazines yeah. that were possible that you could possibly get in the mail. Uh-huh. We don't have a And I think she accidentally now. ticked the box for Maxim. So, mm. so all of a sudden I was getting Maxim magazines in my name. <laughs> She's like, what the hell is this? Sure, sure, Niskel. I was like, you did it. Yeah, sure, Niskel. That's 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 how it happened. You don't need to explain anything to me. I understand. But I was 15 and didn't have any mail. Nobody <laughs> sent me shit. I'm not signing myself up for Maxim. Yeah, it's a read one one magazine. It's like, oh, it's it's boring. It had great articles. Of clothing in it. By the time I found Playboy, I'd already found internet porn, so what's the point? There was no Google is just a quick type away. Ooh, but it's the articles! Yeah, you know what else has interesting articles? The internet. So, you're, you're SOL. Especially The Onion. The most credible source for anything ever. <laughs> Everybody read The Onion. Most likely not. The professor I, lo I love the ones that, uh, still, that uh, still believe in The Onion. No, oh, that has actual sources. It had absolutely yeah. no effect. Why isn't someone doing I something about this? So I just love when the onion hands somebody in L for actually taking them seriously. The onion has ratioed so many idiots out there. It's pretty fantastic. Four days later. Dr. Vaughn, Dr. Blaylock, two patients have been added to each of your schedules. What? Aren't these Rousseau's patients? Uh -oh. What? Yes, but he's very busy. Making a mint off of the recordings, I bet ya. Uh, is that really uh, appropriate for work? I'm just just saying. You look like you're in your night uh, your nightgown. Act. She's cute. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, keep it going. She's fine. Who cares if her doctor coat is see-through. As for you, Marcus, I don't think that tie is uh, appropriately tied on. <laughs> Marcus, this is the fourth day you've worn that same outfit. Yeah, well, I'm living here. That's the only one I have. <laughs> they haven't paid me yet. Russo has stolen all my patients. I heard another hospital has been courting him as well. He's had a lot of visitors lately. Yeah, well, yeah, he's going yeah. to take up a position as a lecturer. <laughs> I envy him. Oh, fucking Dr. Rizzo. He's the talk of the entire hospital. The anime soap opera is I having a moment. Only one. Meaning what, exactly? I've heard from more than one source that someone will be paying you two a visit soon as well. Paying? <laughs> Marcus's ears perk up at paying. Maybe I heard money. To be, Russo will let you know about it. Oh. That's not really my idea of a promotion. Promotion! Well, Can we just cut someone up now? I'm calling it quits for today. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow won't be as stressful. What about the professor? Stressful? Stress? You had a coffee and sat in your office. What do you mean? They had two patients put onto them, which I thought is what we were doing, but I guess not. Just wait until the entire lab catches fire. We don't have uh, cutscene specific episodes anymore. It's all, it's all just long cutscene leading up to an operation. Mm -hmm. If combined them, I'm noticing. Is that the fire? Oh, he figured it out! Yep. No! Run! No! Something must have happened. <laughs> he called us out, he called us out, set fire to everything. He's figured out the pattern! <laughs> Just makes me think of the SpongeBob. We threw out his name! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <gasps> Dude! I'm sorry, I must have popped in a Resident Evil game by mistake. Holy shit, that is a Wesker moment! That man's on fire! No shit, Marcus! Wait, wait, hang on, let me check. He could just be trying some sort of mad doctor kind of cosplay. We have to help him. <laughs> Hold on, let him cook. Marcus. No, not literally! <laughs> no, wait, stop! <laughs> no, not stop, go! Valerie, Open the door, drop on the floor. Around. Everybody walked up. <laughs> <laughs> doctor, stand aside. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you push him? Quick, uh, oh, away. sorry, doctor. <laughs> Someone. Uh oh. Someone. No! This was medical terrorism. Already? And then set fire. Oh my God! They mean business. Hang in there. No more bombs. They're just being pyromaniacs. He's been badly burned. His life is in danger. <sighs> so 
Sew him up. Sew him up. We need to treat the burns. Sew him up. No, we need to treat the burns. Just sew the burns up. No, we don't sew the burns. Just put gel on everything. Swipe. Upper left portion of the body is badly burned. I've got, I've got aloe vera. That's all I need. Ah! There you go. I'm oh, hold on. Portion I... of the body's badly burned requires I... immediate treatment. I forgot to clean it. Here's some alcohol. Ah! <laughs> That's not how you clean it. You need soap and water. You need oh, the... true, true, true. You, you need you need Dawn and the rough edge of a sponge. Just really scrub in those burns there. Yeah, see, get all yeah. that dead skin I off. learned this at home. When the pan is burnt black, you just need to scrub extra hard. It gets rid of it completely. When, Look at it. When it's black, put in your back. <laughs> <laughs> So how are you doing, Dr. Russo? I crave death. <laughs> These oh, doctors are idiots. <laughs> Ooh, we're doing skin transplants. Interesting. If we inject culture fluids, we'll be able to avoid further damage. Okay. Since we'll be working so we're going to be putting yogurt burns, into them? Not that kind of culture. Not that kind of third degree burns. Getting the... Getting the shivers. You've got fifth already, degree burns. You're actually condition. burning bone. Please, we have to hurry. Okay. Like your your arm looks like an ashtray. It's like it's like. <laughs> yeah. You just took off a chunk of my skin. Yeah, it's a fifth degree burn. You didn't feel it. You took all your nerves with you. Ah. Uh, oh, that's not too bad. Uh, it's not even like ninety percent of his body. It's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. He'll be, he'll be fine. Uh, how about I deal with some uh, some healing there? Go do some draining first, I think. So. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do that first. All right. Drain all that stuff. Let me get these vitals up. See if he's gonna be responding to that. And I'll go ahead and get the max of fifty five. Oh, so we gotta put the fluid in there. We need to Please cut that. To yeah, you go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and prep you some uh, Let's look for other unburnt, right. areas. unburnt areas and follow the same procedure. Okay. We'll need to excise this necrotic tissue. Are you prepared to Ooh, begin okay. It's going necrotic. Please inject it directly into the blackened tissue. I got you. I got you. There you go. You can place the excise See. The oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, all right. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, hang on. Oh, one of us has to get the, the the skin grafting. One of us is going to be watching the burns. You want to you want to get the right? I'll get the left. Uh, yeah, I'll get the right. Okay. Then you got that. Yeah, yeah go ahead and uh, s get me off a slice if you could please. Slice off thing. Also, uh, can you watch the vitals, please? Yes, I'm on syringe duty. Then go ahead and do those real quick. There. Oh no, again. the blood actually washed it off. Okay, well then, how about we do this? Yeah, get, just get me a bunch of slabs and we'll do it piece by piece. Alright. Yeah, can we do that, please? Uh, go ahead and do some more, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move us up here. Oh, that that's necrotic, okay. Sorry, Doctor. Yeah, just, just, just keep going with all that. Just keep it going, keep it going. I think we got one. There we go. Oh, we need to put on multiple multiple pieces onto a burn to get rid of it. Otherwise, it's just going to keep going necrotic. Get the vials back up. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Uh, go ahead and do one more. Let's one more piece. Let's get a few more here. Oh, Shit. no. Okay, yeah, let's get, like, five or six pieces, uh, just to get him ready here. As we cut him up. Uh, one more top right. There we go. Cool. All right. All right. Get some more here. I'll go ahead and work on vitals. Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, no sutures. I, I was just kidding about the suture thing. No! Drain that. All right, we should be able to get this no problem then. Three, four, and heal. Take us, take us down. Ooh, too far, too far. Nice. All right, uh, let's let's focus on this smaller section down here. Okay. Uh, there we go. So let me deal with this guy. Ta-da! Okay. Ready, right ready when you are. Bam, bam. Go ahead and cut me another piece, if you could, please. Uh, 
Nope, nope, nope. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Gotcha. Keep okay. it up. I'm gonna move us up just a tad. Yes, please do. There we go. Yeah, we can still hit that bottom one. Uh, we need one more piece, and this one will be taken care of. There we go. Right. Now I'm gonna get a whole bunch here, so get ready. All right. There we go. Uh, we'll need about 12 total. I love how we're both just slicing into this douche. <laughs> what? Oh, I mean... Come on, come on. Oh, no! Forceps, forceps, for... Ah! All right, All right some got more. Got about a minute and a half. Let's uh, pick the pace here. Yeah, let's get this going. One, two, three, four. Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? There we go. Oh, we, we do need one more. There's not much time. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. There we go. All right, uh, cut some more pieces. Let's go, we got a minute, got a minute, got a minute, got a minute, got a minute. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Just re remember your training, Doctor. Yes. Sorry, Doctor. Lost control. Two, three, four. Done. All right, Whoa. all right, all right. I didn't, didn't even need to cut into him. I was very good to <laughs> stitch him up and everything. <laughs> I just want to cut into him just once. This is my only opportunity, just once. Come on, come on. Uh, still a bee? Okay. No healing touch. I think that counts for a lot. I mean, I don't know why you would need a healing touch for that one, but because you suck. Fortunately, no one seems to have been inside. But the please don't out to people that I'm actually bad at video games. Reason to believe please. The data was stolen. According to what Russo said, so all because Rousseau made that video that. about stigma, people came and bombarded the dude's office. What did the detectives ask you? Holy shit! Same things they asked you. What did I see when I arrived at the scene? Did I notice anything suspicious? You know, the Suspicious. Usual. How about the uh, guy on fire coming out of the door? They also asked about the professor's condition. Oh, he burned up too. About stigma, for now. They wouldn't understand anyway. I can't believe he was kidnapped. What's their motive? Oh, he was kidnapped? Kidnapped? Oh. What's gonna happen to this hospital? He's our stigma what? machine. We stigma. make stigma anime virus. Machine. The media's gonna be all over this incident. We won't have time to examine our patients. Dr. Blaylock, Dr. Vaughn, there's someone here to see you. Caduceus. If it's another investigator, then forget it. Caduceus. Actually, it's the director of Caduceus. Yay. Whoa! Mr. or Mrs. Director well, themselves. Mrs. Director herself. Sorry I had to uh, set up that entire uh, burn sequence. I hope you guys don't mind, but I want to recruit you for Fiducius. Well, there, was a, so there, there was a fire at a hospital. So uh, is that a sick burn? Um, how can we help you? <laughs> I mean, it took out the idiot. So yeah, uh, sick oh, wow. burn. It's a little complicated. So I'll get right to the point. After Point. seeing ow, the two of ow. you in action, I negotiated with the hospital to have you both... Yo! New jobs. New, new jobs. Recruiting us? New jobs. Once again, why do we always get new jobs? Go to another plan? brand new hospital the all the time. Because we're too good just to stay in Oh, and place. by the way, we'll pay you. So oh, thank you fuck. Oh, yes. thank God. Yes. Tired of being the coffee boy. Dr. Vaughn, Dr. Blaylock. By the authority of the federal government, I hereby order your immediate transfer to Caduceus. <laughs> All right, uh, immediate. What, what time is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, yeah. ah. A couple guys in suits just come hey, take, hey, take hey, us into out. a van. <laughs> You're going to Caduceus. Put the black bags on you. <laughs> on the research we believe Professor Wilkins was performing. As skilled doctors and colleagues of the professor, oh. we have expertise in the U.S. branch of Caduceus. We'll do our best to accommodate any staff member requests you may have. Elena, I need my eye candy when I'm doing research. I can't believe it. We're going to Caduceus. Uh, said with all the enthusiasm of we, a kid getting a popped balloon for his birthday. We just won the Super Bowl. What are you going to do now? I'm going to Caduceus. Hey. Uh, wow, these chapters are getting are pretty short. A little that's chalky. Right. We did like two there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Chalky. Next time on Trauma Center, 
a special assignment, Ooh. probably from Caduceus, probably from our new employers, probably something stigma worthy. We're going to the League of Super Doctors, dude! Super Doctors! Super Anime Doctors! Super Anime Doctors! Yeah! 